where I'm joined by John Longworth, the co-chair of Leave Means Leave. And aren't you, in effect, cutting the ground from under Mrs May just as the negotiations are beginning to get going? You've got to give her time to strike a deal. Well, the negotiations aren't beginning to get going. And actually, we're not cutting the ground from under her. We're actually supporting her and reinforcing her argument. By moving to WTO rules in 2019, we will actually provide absolute certainty for business because all of the effects of that are in the hands of the UK government, irrespective of any negotiations. And they'll actually produce a better result than a free trade arrangement because we'll be able to crystallise the real benefits of Brexit. Now, if the EU know that, they're more likely to actually parlay on a trade deal anyway. So it's the very best negotiating tactic. But we have heard from various business organisations warning that no deal is absolutely not what they want. Indeed, I was looking at your own former organisation, the Chambers of Commerce. They did a survey. Only 2% of their members want to go on to World Trade Organisation terms. Well, we're not saying that there won't be any conversations with the EU. And of course, there'll be administrative issues that need to be resolved. And that's what these organisations are particularly concerned about. Customs, union arrangements, uh, flights across the channel and so on and so forth. Those things still need to be resolved and can be and absolutely confident they will be. What we're saying is that the government should say they're not prepared at this stage to pursue a free trade arrangement with the EU. They prefer to go to WTO. That will give certainty. It will enable us to crystallise the real benefits, boost the economy, reduce the cost of living for poorer people and at the same time give Theresa May a more leverage in her negotiations. Let's just be clear, you think going on to WTO rules would be good for the economy? We would be better off if we went on to WTO rules? WTO rules will provide us with the freedoms that we need to boost the economy. It's much more valuable than the free trade arrangement, although having a free trade arrangement as well would be helpful. We can then spend money on boosting business, we can repatriate fisheries, reform the CAP, reduce the cost of living on food, clothing and footwear for people by removing tariffs. We can do all those things and deregulate and boost uh, business growth under WTO rules, which we can't do at the moment. And of course, critically, we can also create trade deals with the rest of the world, where 90% of the growth is going to come from over the future years. But the EU is our biggest export market at the moment. What about the tariffs? which are likely to be imposed by the EU on British manufacturers trying to export to them? What about the potential disruption to customs if there have to be additional checks? That surely is going to have a negative impact on the economy. Well, on customs, there are already rules in place under WTO for the movement of goods around the world. We operate them at the moment in the 55% of exports we send to the rest of the world and not to the EU. So it's perfectly reasonable that we should be able to sort those things out very easily. On tariffs, the UK currency is at such a competitive rate now, it's at least 13% below what it was on the 23rd of June 2016, that we've already eliminated even the biggest tariffs in terms of money. So actually UK manufacturers are already in a better position than they would have been before the referendum, even if tariffs are applied by the EU. And tariffs are self-harm. We've got to remove those taxes on goods coming into the UK, on components, to make British industry more productive and also to reduce the cost of living for poorer people. OK, John Longworth, thanks uh, very much. Uh